Hello Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about the honorary doctorate awards provided by the British National University of Queen Mary in USA and UK. We'll also try to find out the accreditations and recognitions of this university as claimed in the website. We'll also try to understand whether online degree provided by these kind of organizations is really valid in the market. We are living in a digital world where everybody is hunting for a honorary award through the shortest means and we fail to check whether the degree is really valid or not. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of the honorary doctorate awards provided by the British National University of Queen Mary. So this is the university we are talking about and this is the website, okay, bnuqm-edu.uk, okay. So they are uh, giving the information that this university operates in UK, United Kingdom and United States of America and they have given two email IDs, okay. So down you can scroll down, you can apply for admission, you can also verify the certificate, okay. So they are giving several uh, degree certificates. Of course, we can find the information over here. Like we can also find certifications, accreditations, approvals we can find over here. When you browse through the academics uh, section, okay, so they are giving some logos like a uh, school of engineering, school of science. But when you go into like, uh, for example, school of engineering, we are not getting uh, the exact course details. For example, if they are giving civil engineering means they should give some information, but the information is not present. And we do not have proper uh, photos of faculty members uh, with regards to faculty of engineering. Okay, they have given only email ID. When you go to academic partner section, okay, so they have established some uh, associations. I will uh, tell you in the later part of the video whether these academic partners really know the accreditation value of this university. When you browse through the library section, okay, so we do not have much of the e-library contents. When you browse through the learning centers, actually we were thinking uh, about uh, established photos, but uh, no uh, information with regards to images or maybe registration recognition number, nothing has been found over here. In the announcement section, they have uh, displayed the information uh, that uh, there are some uh, unauthorized organizations which issue fake uh, BNUQM uh, certificates, okay. So one is United Nations Global Peace Council Dubai and another one Abhigyane Foundation New Delhi India. Okay? Let me tell you that this university announces uh, these organizations are issuing fake certificates but we should check the genuineness of this particular university. <laughs> In the fee details uh, section, they have given some fee details, okay, so for PhD degree, like uh, $15,000, okay, roughly between like 2 till 3 years. For DLED DSC, they are charging approximately 20,000 US dollars, which is approximately like 16 lakh in Indian rupees. For honorary doctorate, they have not given the information. But anyway, we will cross check this information. In the certificate verification section, they have given a reference number, registration number and email ID. Actually, I uh, browse through some of the certificates that were issued by this university and uh, I went into the Google search results. I just copy pasted the registration number and the reference number. I was not getting the relevant details. In the about us section, actually, I was expecting some photos of uh, some uh, uh, centers or maybe units but uh, I couldn't find much of the information here. So this is a very, very important section, okay, council members, okay, so here they have given the president, vice president, senate member, so they have given all the administrative staff details. Also, you can find uh, names of the academic staff with respect to each of the departments, okay. Let us cross verify this one, okay, for example, Virginie Goy Rawdon, okay, so uh, he or she is actually the president, okay, so here, we are actually searching for this name, okay. We are getting one search result. This particular uh, researcher is uh, working as a research professor at the University of uh, Lille, Nord de France. But I really don't know whether this professor is aware of the fact that she is associated with this university. In the same way, we have administrative staff, okay, Zakaria Babutsitse, okay. This particular person, I am searching in the Google, okay. We are getting some search result that uh, he was actually associated with the schema business school. Again, we do not know whether this particular person 
uh, really knows that he is associated with this university. We decided to check for uh, British uh, National University of Queen Mary in the Google image uh, search results. Uh, we of course uh, found many of the uh, people showcasing the information that uh, they have obtained honorary doctorate award through this particular university. There are some high profile personalities as well. But one of the search results really caught my eyes. Okay, I decided to take this one from the Google image uh, search result. Okay, so here it shows uh, a partnership certificate. Okay, so the British National University given by the president as well as chancellor. Okay, so you can see the exact names what you can see in the website. Okay, and this has been associated with the Revival Bible University. When you go into the membership section, okay, so they have given like a honorary fellow membership, associate membership, but uh, still uh, we are just given with the duration of the membership, but uh, the actual benefits, we are not getting the exact information. When you browse through the contact us section, of course we have email IDs of all the executive members, okay, but we have a address, okay, so we have an address, for British National University of Queen Mary, which operates in UK as well as USA. What we did, we decided to copy paste only this particular address, okay, and this particular address, okay. We decided to copy paste in the Google search. When we searched for this uh, particular address, we can see, uh, okay, only this address being associated with this university. Uh, actually, they should have displayed a Google Live Map location, but it is not displayed similarly we decided to search for a uh, usa address but we can understand that the same address is associated with the uh, united states of america so that is actually associated with the california public university we really don't know how one address can be associated with the california public university as well as uh, british national university of queen mary so as mentioned in the website they have quoted that uh, this particular university is uh, accredited by the deliver department of education okay so we decided to go for education.deliver.go okay so here we have a section called as approve colleges and institutions okay so here uh, down if you can uh, scroll down we have uh, department of higher education office approve distance education institutions we decided to search for british okay just british or maybe british national university of queen mary you can search we are not getting the search result so down you can see there is another one thing non-authorized institutions okay we decided to search for maybe british or maybe british national university of uh, queen mary we are getting the exact search result we can get the same name british national university of queen mary but there is a different website bnu-education.us when we try to click on this particular link it is the exact replica of the first website but we really don't know why they developed this website and the first website so for you people who do not know why we are actually searching this information so we can find this information in the non-authorized institutions which means that uh, these are post-secondary institutions that have not obtained a certificate of approval to operate as a post-secondary institution from the DDOE, Delaware Department of Education, which means that they are not authorized by the uh, DDOE to provide degree certificate or both. Okay, they have clearly mentioned, which means that the degree is actually invalid. I decided to check the other way. Okay, so here we search for British National University of Queen Mary, fake. Okay, we can search in this way. Okay, we have some search results from uh, moneynews1.com okay also we have some information from the sproutnews.com okay and then we have businessnews1.com okay so the first one i will show you so this is actually from the sprouts okay so here they have given a list of fake universities awarding bogus phd degrees okay this has been given for the benefit of the sprouts valuable readers Okay, and here we can see British National University of Queen Mary. So then we can also go for uh, this information that is actually uh, given in the sproutsnews.com. Okay, misuse of retired judges to sell bogus PhDs. Okay, so down if you search for British National University, we are getting the exact search result. Okay, so they have clearly mentioned these are the list of fake universities awarding bogus PhD degrees. Okay, for the information for the valuable readers. Also, we can find similar information in the business news one. Okay, so same thing we can find. We search for British National University, same 
university name you can find over here let me also tell you that the other accreditations and approvals of this uh, particular uh, universities are not really from the high standards so about this particular uh, university we do not have a live google map location uh, whether they are actually operating through physical means and we have no online presence of this uh, particular university through the faculty members and executive council members. So I would like to leave this decision to you, my dear channel members, viewers, followers, subscribers, and those unsubscribed audience as well. It is your responsibility to check the genuineness of a certificate before obtaining it. While I remind our channel members once again that a hard earned degree is definitely better than these unearned honorary doctorate awards. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, positive or maybe negative experience, please share them in the comment section. So I am sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful awareness video. So see you then in another genuine interview. Till then, collaboration is the best.